All right, so once you get done with your project, you've created it and we've gone over it together, your next step in the artistic behavior process is learning how to display your piece. This may seem easy, but there's a creative element to it. And that's what I want you to be thinking about. Now there, I'm gonna show you some of the places to display your artwork, okay? Uh, obviously around the classroom, there are different places. Now, eventually there's going to be informational sheets here, but any place on this back wall, any place on these walls next to the television, um, anywhere on this wall, again, I might still have a projector here, but if not, if that ends up not happening, then obviously up here we can display our artwork. It's just going to be these bottom areas that eventually will have different sheets of informational techniques for you. So there's some places over here that you can post. Um, if you're wanting to post them on here, you could. You wanna think about your project and what's gonna look best. Also, another place for you to display your art might be on some of these handy dandy things that are kept in the gymnasium. These are definitely ours to display on. So if you have, if you think your piece would look really good displayed on here, that's another option that you have. So now I'm in the office, all right, and here's a few places that you could choose. There's this back lovely corner uh, where Miss Alicia Gilbert sits. And so you are welcome, she said you're welcome to display some lovely artwork there. Also by where Miss Kelly is. This is another location you can display your art. I know they're still rearranging, but uh, Miss Kelly Coker sits up here and they're planning on putting a few things in this area, but pretty much this entryway is another option for you to display your art in the office for when people come in. So it's also gonna depend on what kind of project you create. For example, if you paint a rock, there's a lot of dull looking rocks here. And so a colored rock would really look kinda cool if we start doing stuff like that. Also keep in mind the teachers around campus because the teachers might want something displayed in their room, right? So if you make something that, you know, Mr. Murray is really into, he might want to put it in his room. You know, anything with the Michigan, uh, with Michigan colors will go in Mr. Stewart's room. He would love it in there. So just think about how you would want things displayed and if you want things in a certain teacher room, I know that they're happy to do that. The other thing you might want to consider is could you display your art a little differently? Could it hang, right? Is there a way that you could hang it from the ceiling? Um, you know, think differently about how you could display it. Uh, if it's going to be in showcase or displayed on a table somewhere, could you use the fabric to highlight anything about it? For example, if you had like a clay dragon that you made eventually, could you find some gray fabric in the fabric area that could look like smoke underneath it, right? And so it's just about being creative with how you can display it so it looks really cool and really neat. And that's what I'm looking for. All right.